All right, everybody, uh, welcome to Senior E-Bike Nation. This is Adam uh, here with Dan. We are gonna do some uh, trail riding. We're on the Antioche AQ100, AQ177 Pro Max. And Ingway Engine Pro. Ingway. 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 Engine Pro. All right. Engine Pro. Ready ride? Yep, let's ride. You're gonna be talking the whole way. All right. Let's go. All right, guys, so we're going to do a bit of uh, trail riding. Uh, been on this trail before. We did a ride a few days ago. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that footage. We had some problem with the audio. Um, you may have seen it. Heck, you already might have seen it uh, at this point. It really depends when the video is out. Um, but if, if it is, then you've already seen me on this trail and you've already seen me crash a little bit, which is fun. Um, but we're going to be doing a 30 mile ride and we're going to be going all the way down to Xenia. Never in on this bike. Um, I'm still new to e-bikes and this Engway engine is uh, feeling nice so far. I'm liking it quite a bit. It's nice out today with the weather. It's, uh, it's warm with a bit of a breeze. The skies are nice too, not too cloudy. Actually pretty clear, which as you can see on the ground, it's pretty wet, rain last night. Quite a bit yesterday. Um, not as much as I'd like, because I love the rain. This, I believe, will be the longest ride I've been on so far. Last ride, I want to say, was like maybe 20 miles distance. We're doing 30 mile distance, so this will be fun. I'm gonna have a good time. And uh, yeah, hopefully no more crashes. Hopefully no more scrapes. Um, no broken teeth. But it's definitely starting to feel like summer more and more. And I've never been big of a summer guy. I'm more of a fall, winter type person. I know, you winter, everybody hates snow. I love snow. And you know what, maybe that's because I don't really have to drive to work very much, because I don't have a job right now. And even when I did have a job, it was really close, so. I just didn't have to worry about the snowy weather getting in the way. But if I find a job soon, I'm sure I will have to worry about the snow. And that'll be fun. I wanna see what five looks like. Oh man, five is fast already. We're actually riding up along this uh, railroad right here we saw last time. I actually mentioned that, so. I up next to that. It's some nice flowers out there. What pedal assist are you in? Three. Yeah, this bike must be faster in three. It is, yeah. It goes pretty quick. Yeah, you might have to go up to four, I don't know. This thing goes pretty quick without any effort. I'm at 18 miles an hour now, hardly doing any pedaling. Move the camera a bit, guys. Give us just a second here. A little bit of video audio adjustment here. I think that's better. Yep. All right, guys, camera's fixed. You should be and back. Up we go. Everything's good, and we are off. 
like I was saying though, um, yeah, I don't know how much footage we got, but I will say, just here and now, that I just love these e-bikes because I love bikes already. Yeah, I just love these because I already love bikes and the fact that it's just a bike that goes faster and pedals easier and faster. I mean, that's just, who doesn't love that, right? What sane person wouldn't love that? And you guys will probably see some footage uh, from Dan's point of view if that camera works on the helmet. We've had problems with it. So it's very, it's very possible that you guys aren't gonna see any of that. And that's all right because I heard the quality was kind of crap. So we'll see. And uh, if it turns out good, it turns out good. And if it turns out bad, it turns out bad. Oh well. It is nice out today though. I'm really enjoying the weather. Now jacket was a good call because there's a good bit of breeze going on and uh, that gets me pretty chilly. It's nice riding up along the creek too. So cold graffiti here. <laughs> we got Splinter. Or not Splinter, sorry, Shredder. Wow, I do not know my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles at all. And the wrong names and everything, man. I don't like this area at all. Like, this is absolutely where you'd get murdered. That's like a murder spot. I'm sorry. Making our way to Beaver Creek. Oh yeah. Riding right along the uh, highway that'll take you to Xenia. I had no idea that trail even went all the way back to Xenia and Beaver Creek, to be honest with you. bridge here real quick should be fun all right going to the bridge here it's not a bit of it's barely a bridge it's more of an overpass this is also like a prime murder spot right there because I can't imagine a whole lot of people go on this trail late at night so just stay away from trails when it's dark folks no matter how nice it looks Never trust it. Trust your instincts. Wow, we're coming up to an actual legitimate bridge right here.
bridge ahead, 10 tons. So it only takes 10 tons to break this bridge, guys. So if you're in the uh, Dayton area and you're on this trail, do not bring 10 tons, folks. Bad idea.